This is maple. Yeah, I have a this. Why didn't I use this? <laughs> Terry's, Terry's put on the table. Sanding is not for blisses. <laughs> serious job. Gotta have a lot of tack cloth. I don't have anything. I just said, oh, I'm gonna stay on this table today. And then now it's gonna be a rush to get tack cloth and I don't know this finish. This is a stained finish. This has a to me this is what it is. It's um a colored stained finish. And then below that was I don't know about that. Somebody did like a, an experiment and then they went, no, I don't want that. And then, cause I tried to sand that out, but it's deep. So that's oil. Is it a stain? I don't know. I just know it's oil. So I gotta get in between all these grooves here. There's a lot of gook in there. I can do that later. I will just close the door. But yeah, I just wanna show you that so I can figure out how I wanna go about doing this table and I might I don't know if you're, you're supposed to do this I don't know what the rules are here but I, I have wax I mean I've used it before I might put wax on it and then put a sealer on it I might I want you know I want to bring out the natural beauty of the wood so I don't know I can't stand that though so I'm gonna do the rest
this is why I changed my clothes after sanding this table. And I went ahead and uh, it seems pretty clean, right? It's not, man. I moved this thing. Look at this. I'll just do it. Just to show you. It ain't clean. That's why you need tack cloth. Tack cloth. This doesn't even have any water on it. I don't even know if it's supposed to have water. Shoot. All right. Tack with a little bit of water, I mean a little bit. Is it clean now? Or how can we tell? We got all this stuff off here. He had 200 little boots on. He's doing this. All right, you guys. So I went through the sanding process, realized that it was a veneer. It is not solid wood, um, no matter what Sarah says. It's been lived in for sure. Look at that. I got the arm. You know, I told you that. Uh, but now my back is really killing me. I will not. I would not ever make it as a furniture refinisher ever in my life. I mean, maybe back in the day, but I never did it, and it's probably for a reason, but my back, my back, man. You got to have a strong back, and if you think you have a strong back, you better take care of your back if you refinish furniture. Seriously. <laughs> anyway, so it was a beautiful veneer, but I sanded through it over there, and when I was sanding it all perfectly and stuff, I ran into some, some issues even before that little issue. It was looking all good and stuff, you know, I was going slow, you saw it. Sometimes I was going fast, but I wasn't too worried about it. And then I came over here and I was like, what is this? And, and then I sanded it and sanded it, and then I was like, don't sand anymore, because it's, it's oil, and what does oil do? It penetrates. So that's forever. So I'm thinking, well, I never saw the finish brand new. I saw it all tore up like this. So I don't know. I could have blended in really well. I didn't notice it. But what do I do now? What do I do? Like, I didn't even, I just stopped. My back was like, you're done. And going through that, I was like, man, that, that was just. <sighs> but you can't find any videos of, you know, this size. Can you fix something this size? Well, that all depends on what you mean by fix, right? So I'm going to transform this table from its luxurious very thin skin to it still has grain to something unique and i'm going to do that with color i'm really good at that so um yeah just stay with me and you're going to see a totally unique tabletop finished complete and then i'm going to do the rest at another later date all right you guys give me a thumbs up peace out diy it yourself don't forget handle it people don't tell you this when you sand through veneer and it looks like this you want it to look perfect and you try everything. You break out your wood putty. You've got all kinds of shellacs and primers.